Well, a woman in Douglas County is in a little bit of a tricky situation. Her social security number says she's dead, but let me tell you, she is very much alive. Olivia is your reporter in Douglas County. And Olivia, this woman reached out to you with her very bizarre story. Yeah, she did, Kelly. And grieving a loved one and managing their estate is a hard enough process. But for this woman, reporting her mother dead led to her own life mistakenly being ended on paper. And she's still dealing with the fallout today. When Judy Olson lost her mom in February of 2021. This is probably relevant. She put aside grieving to follow instructions left in a toes up file. Here are all the things you need to do when I die. First on the list, notifying the Social Security Administration of her mother's death. The person on the phone asked for both Judy and her mother's Social Security numbers. I said, why do you need my information? Just to verify who you are and that you're related. Next, Judy went to the bank to liquidate her mother's trust, where the manager broke some shocking news. So we know who you are, but when we pulled up your account, you are considered deceased. Still very much alive, Judy was locked out of her accounts. Why did that happen? How did it happen? She brought her identification to the Social Security office to arrange her resurrection. It's clear you are you and we'll get it taken care of. Judy thought the ordeal was behind her, save for the occasional joke. And somebody would pipe up, well, at least you're not dead like Judy. Until she filed her mother's 2021 taxes in 2022 and never received the return. Yes, you, you were marked deceased. You are not anymore. So, you know, we can get going on everything. But despite calling and visiting the office multiple times, she still hasn't received the nearly $4,000 she's owed. We're still waiting and it still says in process. Or the closure she's been waiting three and a half years for. Just some peace of mind. So it did definitely push back my mourning process. Judy doesn't know if the tax return problem is related to her now reversed death. An IRS spokesperson told me they can't legally comment on an individual's taxes, but he suggests Judy uses their taxpayer advocate service for help. Kelly. Oh, what an interesting situation. Yeah. Hopefully they figure it all out too. Olivia, yeah. thank you.